For some of the block ends of the gorilla, I started off more with a human body part. For example, on the ears, I just modeled human ears. Then I went back a little bit later and altered them looking at photographs, and they're not that different. You can just use the Move tool in ZBrush and uh, the Inflate tool or the Standard tool just to change it up a little bit. And you can do it within a minute from human to gorilla. And uh, one of the tough things to figure out, especially with this being the first gorilla I'm doing as far as a sculpture, is the neck area because they do have a neck. If you look at that from the front, you might say that's an animal that has, you know, a creature like a thug or something that they draw in a comic book that has no neck. They definitely have a neck, but from the front, it looks like it just sits on the chest and the head actually affects the chest to some degree and there's not a lot of good material out there or practically any out there that really shows it clearly you'd almost have to shave a gorilla to get a perfect idea of it but some of the neck muscles as, as they contact the chest affect the chest it's not like a regular human chest and it's a little hard to figure out they have flat chests they don't even though they're muscular creatures they don't have bulbous chests like Schwarzenegger you know, like somebody that just inflates their chest with training and everything else. And going back to the neck as it uh, relates to the head, their foramen magnum, the hole in the back of their skull, for them it's more kind of underneath, but also you can see it from the back. They're not really an upright creature 100% of the time or very little of the time. They walk on all fours, but they're, they're kind of a hybrid. And you can easily see that if you look at one of their skulls. And so from the side, especially on some gorillas, their neck and trapezius combination is as big as their head. And it's very clear on some gorillas, not necessarily this one, but there's some that have necks that are that big. If you're doing a digital sculpture in ZBrush, it's a good idea to switch materials because I switched to this metal type of material and I saw some things I definitely didn't see when I was working in the gray material you see earlier on in the video and I had to go back and change the back area because I had this area that just hit the light differently with the gray material but as soon as I made this metal material it just stuck out wrong and I could go in and correct it but I never would have seen it no matter what the lighting conditions and I switched up the lighting conditions and didn't see the mistake I made until I changed material. Now that this is done I'm going to release this on another channel called the Mark Anders channel where I discuss a bald gorilla from the Laurel Park zoo in Spain, which is one of the most unique looking gorillas I've ever seen.